Hi guys, uh, what I want to do in this video is just show you how you can um, trigger an animation from a button. So essentially what I'm hoping to be able to do is to be able to click this little black box on screen here and cause my av animation or my uh, navigation to drop down. And that's sort of the plan for this video. Now, first things first, these are buttons and they go to uh, pages. We've already set that up earlier. So they go to pages uh, and they are buttons, of course. Now I've got a little black box up here that I've converted to a button and I'm going to make that the trigger that causes these uh, little boxes to come into frame. Cool. So let's go. Uh, so I'm going to have all of these um, buttons. Remember, they're already buttons. I'm going to cause that animation to fly in from the top. So it'll sort of come like down, as you can see. Now you can play with these settings. I want this to happen really pretty quickly, as quick as I can, really. I only want to play it once. You can play with some of these settings. Um, but essentially, you know, that is the business. So it's going to drop in from the top. There's a little icon here that sort of allows me to create a trigger. So I'm going to click on that fella. And as you can see, my mouse has got this little crosshair in it. So if I go ahead and say that this button is the trigger, that button is doing all these things, which is super cool and awesome. Well, that's fantastic. Hopefully that will work. Um, you'll just have to double check <coughs> your animation. So I'm just going to double check. There's one little step here that might trip you up. It's just to make sure <coughs> that having done that, I'm coming to my animation pane and there's a little thing here that says on page load which is not what I want. I don't want it to happen when the page loads. I want it to happen only on the button event. So if I turn that off, that should sort that problem out. So let's go ahead and check that on one of our <coughs> pages. Uh, maybe one of the pages that has the navigation. Um, I'm going <coughs> to preview that here in my preview window. <coughs> And I'm going to just make sure this is how I can see all the pages in the document. I'm going to clear the preview. And play the preview. And here we go. Go to the next page. So there's my button. Click. Beautiful. So that works. Lovely. And we should be able to go to our various pages. Lovely. And cause our... Uh, navigation to come on so that's really cool it's a nice thing to do and of course your buttons and anything could literally be anywhere um, that's cool um, second thing I want to do in this video here is create um, this idea of a slideshow and this is what we'll do right here so I've got gone ahead and placed a whole bunch of images onto my screen that I want to be my slideshow and I'm going to just make a little duplication of these over here just to show you that potentially these could be um, um, little sort of <coughs> thumbnails <coughs> or something like that. All right. Um, what I want to do is, and I'll just come back to those guys there for a moment. These fellas are my sort of potential images for the slideshow. These little ones at the top here might be buttons in a moment. But essentially, I'm just going to have those guys there. And I'm going to sort of just align them so that they're overlapping. So they're all sitting essentially <clears throat> on top of each other. So there's four. Oops, there's uh, four of my images there. Just overlapping. And I'm just going to scoot him up a little bit. Put it in here, so you know what they'll do. For, that'll do for the purposes of the exercise. Um, so these are my my little buttons. Maybe they'll be my um, <clears throat> my um, buttons later on. Um, cool. So slideshow. So I'm just going to create a couple of little boxes down here, and these. These might be <coughs> arrows or, you know, forward and back arrows, but I'm just going to create little boxes. 
All right, let's get started. So we know that these images are all together. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight them all by dragging my arrow through them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my interactive menu and I'm going to get this thing called object states. <clears throat> this will drive or this will create what is known as a multi-state object. And you see this little dialog pop up and then you're just going to hit that little plus button. So what we've made effectively here is a button with many, many states and as many as you like really. And you, you know, I feel like you can probably rearrange these as you need, so that's kind of good. <clears throat> All right, so we've made this fella now. He's called a multi-state object, and you can see you've got this little icon that's sort of changed there, which is good. Um, great. So let's uh, make a play. So here we go. These guys are going to be buttons. So I'll just make those buttons. Create buttons. Excellent. And while I'm at it, I might as well make those buttons. I'll come. I'll do these second. I'll do this first. So, this is a button, and I'm going to say that you, when I click you, you will go to the previous state, which would indicate that it will go back in the order. So, go back to the previous state, and it says that. Of the previous state of this particular multi-state object which I only have one of but that's you can have more if you wish so this fellow in the same instance when I click it he will go to the next state next state course so that's it there and this will function as a forward and back okay so that's one way now I said that I've got these little icons here or, or uh, thumbnails I'm going to do the same idea with this so they're buttons, we've made those buttons, and what I can do here is I can nominate a particular state. So I can go to and nominate a particular state. So if I go there, I can see that I'm looking to go to state 4 in this instance. And there we go, so that will go directly to state 4. If we just carry on with this process, go to state in this case, it is my little puppy dog. He's state uh, three. Repeating this process, click, go to state, and I'm going to make sure that I go to the correct state. Lovely, lovely. And finally, the last one. So click, go to a particular state. In this instance, you're going to go to state one. So. Hopefully, if we've got that right, um, our, our, our slideshow should uh, work. Um, so, let's, of course, save that. I'm going to get my little clear up the deck here a little bit. I'm going to test that out. And it should right down there. So, there's my thing that I can click through to next and previous state. Or I can nominate a particular state to go to. So, that's it. Okay, there's a slideshow, drop down menu, hope that helps guys and I'll see you all in lesson 